Hi everyone, welcome to this next session of Kaplan's USMLE Step 1 Q Blast. I'm Dr. Matt Alvin. I'm going to be an incoming medical intern going into radiology. Let's get started on your way to get higher points on test day. So for this question, it says gastrin, acetylcholine, and histamine are all important for regulating gastric acid secretion under normal conditions. Hopefully that wasn't anything new. You guys should all know that. That's Physiology 101. Administration of atropine. Okay, look, another question where we deal with atropine, which means got to know what that drug does, will most likely cause which of the following changes in the ability of gastrin, acetylcholine, and histamine to stimulate acid secretion. Again, the question saying, how does atropine impact the stimulation of acid secretion? Notice the answer choices here, we deal with arrows, okay? Up, down, to the side, meaning that it stays the same. You're gonna see a lot of questions that have answer choices that look like this. Notice we got a column for gastrin, a column for acetylcholine, and a column for histamine. Take a few moments and select what you think's the best answer. Okay, great. So the correct answer here is choice C, all right, which back in the, the actual answer choices, you see it's down arrows for all three of them. So why is that? Well, we're going to get there. Let's talk about some key points of parietal cells. So as soon as you read gastroacetylcholine, histamine, gastric acid, you better be thinking of your physiology. Parietal cells, where are they? What do they do? Chief cells, what are they? What do they do? G cells, how does the parasympathetic nervous system impact this? What's the anatomy of the stomach? All this stuff priming in your mind as you're thinking about this question. So parietal cells, what are they? They're stimulated to secrete acid. By what? Our three things talked about in the question. Acetylcholine, histamine, and gastrin. These are known as secretagogues. They have multiplicative or synergistic effects on acid secretion, meaning that if one stimulates acid secretion, then the other one comes by to try to stimulate it. Their effects actually increase because they're both there rather than just one of them there. If we block one of them, so for instance, in this question, we give atropine, which we know is going to block acetylcholine from binding to its receptor, its muscarinic receptor, okay, on parietal cells. If we block that receptor, it's going to lower the ability of the other compounds, gastrin and histamine, from stimulating acid secretion. That's part of that synergistic effect. So with that said, since we blocked one, the other two's ability to stimulate acid secretion is going to go down, and that's why we're going to have choice C. All the arrows go down. Great question. Test your physiology, ability to know about the synergistic effects. So what do we take away from this? Well, again, what I was saying can be best described in this picture here, this picture that's in front of you right now, where it shows you what's going on in the stomach. These are things you got to know. Basic physiology for the stomach, histology, anatomy, what's going on, all right? You see you've got parietal cells there. You see that acetylcholine, histamine, and gastrin are affecting the parietal cell to cause that acid secretion. We see our G cells. We see what happens with acid. If we have acid in the stomach, that's going to cause secretin to be released from the pancreas. We can go on and on from this picture, but the biggest thing to take away from a question like this is you have to know normal physiology. Knowing so will allow you to get questions like this right, earn that higher score on test day, and work yourself to even more difficult questions. That's what you want. The highest score possible, the most challenging questions that you can beat, and get yourself to that point where you're confident as anything to go in there and dominate this test. Thanks for joining me here today in Kaplan's USMLE Step 1 Q-Blast. I'm, I'm Dr. Matt Alvin, and I'll see you next time.